couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video we're gonna learn fingerstyle Latin improvisation. And we're gonna use E minor, A minor, and B7 in order to do that, but we're not gonna use E minor and A minor. We're gonna use E minor, okay, and A minor. Now for B7 we can use this. Okay. Bar on two, four on the second string, and we play strings one, two, three, and five. Okay. And this enables us to play something like this. Okay. This is the style we're going to use here. So E minor is a D minor shape on three, so it's three, five, four. Okay. Or we can just use three and five on strings one and two with the sixth string as the bass note. So for B we had two and four with two on the fifth string and for E minor we had three and five with the open sixth string. So immediately you can use this. Okay, and the four on the second string is the harmonic minor note. It's the, don't pay attention to him, he's just scratching. Um, it's the major seven on a minor uh, scale, but no technical aspect, we're just having fun here. So, okay, so this is one thing we can use, and this is the shape, so we can use it. But this doesn't sound too Latin, I mean the... this sort of sound. So the next E minor shape is gonna be this, which is seven, eight, nine on strings one, two, and three, again with the sixth string. And for A minor, it's the D minor shape again on eight. So it's eight, 10, and nine, okay, with the fifth string. And we can add one more note to it, which is 10 on the D string. So we have a lower, darker A minor which is 10, 9, 10 on strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Now for E minor, we also have 12, 12, and 12. And for B7, of course, we have the bar on 7 with 8 on the 3rd string. And for the 7th note, it's either 10 on the 2nd string or 7 on the 4th. Okay, we're not going to do it. Uh, we're not going to use the 4th because we're going to solo up high, so we're probably gonna do something like this. Okay, and we can finish. Same as this. Okay, same idea. Okay, now what did I do here? I played the B, the B major chord, and then the seventh note, 10 on the second string, and then seven, eight, seven on the E string. The seven is in the chord, and then eight, seven. Now we have eight in, a minor, so we don't even have to know the scale, we just look at the chord. So, now this was just up here, and it's inside E minor, it's the 8 and 9 on strings 2 and 3. And we just take it one fret down and back up with E, so we get, okay, this is one idea. And another idea would be something like this. Okay, or... Okay, the same idea, just arpeggiating the chord. And then 8-7 on the E string. And then the same with E minor. Okay? And when you have A minor, you can play okay, the chord, or 8 and 10 on the second and first strings, and... Okay, you can take that shape, 8 and 10 on strings 1 and 2, and just move it around to 7 and 9, and then to 10 and 12. Okay, and then you can go back to E minor, and solo on strings 1 and 2 again. Okay, you, you have 5 and 7, so 7 and 8, and 5 and 7. And then you have... 
seven and you just play around with the chord notes. And you also have 11 on the E string, so you can do. Okay? And then E minor again. So um, 11 on the E string, why is that? Again, it's the harmonic minor note, the major seven on the minor scale. And also, it's the octave of the major note in B major. And the harmonic minor scale is what makes it B major instead of B minor. So, same, all ties together nicely. And you can also do the D7 shape up on 11, but then you don't have the bass note. So what you can do is you can use this and then play it three frets down because you have all three notes, this in A minor, these in B, so, and then back to E minor, so you can do something like this, or even um, something like this. You can turn it into a diminished chord if you like. Um, got a little bit carried away, but it sounds nice, so why not? It's improvisation, so we're supposed to come up with, you know, new stuff. So, right? This, the D7 shape on 11, and then on uh, 8, then three more frets down, then on 5, then on 2, then back on 5, and then the E minor chord, D minor shape on 3. Or you can do a full, a full diminished chord um, with 11, 10, 11, and 10 on the 4th string. And then back to E minor. As long as you go back to E minor, everything is fine. So... go back on track and go back to the original stuff that I meant to show you. Now you have the A minor here, okay? remember, 10, 9 and 10 on strings 2 to 4. Now you can use these to solo also, you can do, okay, you can lead to the bottom note here and uh, I haven't discussed the scale yet. So you have, um, it's E minor, it's 10, 8, 7 on the strings 1 and 2, okay, and because of the harmonic minor, you have 9 and 8 on the 3rd string, okay, and we have 9 on the D string as our low note, okay, we'll stop there, okay, just to make it interesting, but if we want the harmonic minor here, then it's 11. Now, I suggest you use the natural minor with 10 when you're soloing on E minor and A minor, and when you have the B, then you can add 11. But if you want to add 11 to the E minor and A minor, you can solo also on 12 and 11 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Because, okay, this is the harmonic minor, and this, is the flat five and you can use it because it creates an interesting sound and it's a half step down from the five from the chord note and you can take the whole chord down half a step okay as I showed you it's preferable to just use two notes instead of the whole three note chord uh, you can choose this or even strings one and three. So you have options. Okay, but this turns it a little bit Egyptian. It's not a bad thing, but if you want to keep it strictly Latin, don't use the flat five, but you can. Okay, just know that you can. 
Now, um, the idea here is to take the chord notes and connect them with soloing notes, as we usually do in finger style. But here, I like to focus on the chord harmonies, so we can just use that. You can also use six, okay? But this is where it becomes really interesting because you do want to create the harmonic minor sound if you use sixth harmonies. So, okay, so it's 12 and 12 and 11 and 11, okay? 11 on the third string, by the way, is a note out of the E minor scale. That's why I didn't mention it before. So, and here, Okay, it's on 8 and 9, and one step down to 7 and 8. If you want a natural uh, sound, play 7 and 7, but if, we've been, uh, if you've been using everything I've shown you up till now, then the sound is harmonic minor, so play this. Now, you also have 5 and 5, uh, 3 and 4, and 2 and 2. And of course, zero and zero because you had 12 and 12, so you can. And now you'll see that if you use 11 and 11 on A minor, it sounds off. So remember what I told you on A minor, use the natural scale. So on A minor, it would be it would be 10 and 11. Okay, if you want to use that, so. Of course, you can use 8-7 on the second string when you're on B. Okay? Also, it creates uh, an augmented okay, chord, a B augmented chord. But just don't stay on it, just use the 8 as a passing note, not as a chord note. So, okay? And then you can just go back to 9 as you finish the solo on E. Or you can also do it here. Okay? But, you know, why use the simple chords when you have all those cool options? Again, there's nothing wrong with the simple chords, but you already know the simple chords, and the objective of this lesson is to teach you stuff you don't know. But of course, you have 0, 2, 3 on the E string, and 0, 1, 3 on the B string, and also 4 on the B string if you want the harmonic minor option. That's also very interesting. Okay, something like this. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable to play four on the second string when you play A minor, but you can do it. It's an option. And if you want to make things a little bit more interesting, you can use four and five to create another Egyptian sound. It's the same as uh, this, only in a different scale. Um, just using a half step from the chord, but this time from... A minor, okay? As you can also do on, okay, on, on the second string between uh, 10 and 9, okay? 9 is an E major note, so you can use uh, 9 on the second string when you play A minor. And then go back to the E minor scale. So um, that's enough tips for this lesson. You go take all these and make up your own improvisation and I'll see you in the next lesson. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons waiting for you right now on the channel and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now, thanks for watching.